This week in Nerf, we've got new blasters online, in stores, and questions on release dates. I'm Jangular, and every Saturday morning, this is your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. Now, right off the bat, I want to get into something that is actually following up from last week when we talked about the Infinis being on Amazon France. Many people notified me that I managed to miss that the Delta Trooper is also available on Amazon France, but it's a little bit different when I looked into this. Now, this one listing for the Delta Trooper is for one single blaster. It's not a pre-order or a pre-purchase like the Infinis was that seems to have any number of available uh, listings. This is for one single blaster, it appears, unless I'm reading it wrong, maybe my high school French has failed me, which is possible, but that's what it looks like to me. And also, something else that kind of leads towards this is the price. The price is much higher on this. It's listed for what would equate to $90 US, and the MSRP for US is $30. So that's three times as high of a price as it should be, Granted, there is going to be some fluctuation between an EU price and a North American price, but it's still much, much higher than it should be. Which leads me to think that this may be a single listing for one blaster that got in the hands of someone that maybe wasn't supposed to have it, and they're trying to make a quick buck with it. It doesn't seem like an official release type listing to me. It seems like someone got it and wants to scalp it. Um, but regardless, if you're in France and you really, really want a Delta Trooper, you could potentially try to pick this one up. I don't know how it's going to go for you, but uh, it is worth letting you all know that it does exist. So thank you uh, to all of you that let me know. I knew I'd seen the image floating around of the Delta Trooper. The official uh, image was floating around last week, but I didn't realize that it was available on Amazon France. So I appreciate all of you always keeping me up to date when I do happen to miss something. So thank you so much on that. Now, something that is available in potentially larger quantities is the Scravenger. One of the new 2018 blasters was found in Singapore in a Toys R Us. This is a post from Nerf Modder, or sorry, not Nerf Modder's Welcome, but Nerf Singapore. Uh, on Facebook from Teddy Chan, and it was going for what appears to be 150 Sing dollars, which is uh, about f much more than you would see in a U.S. listing. The U.S. MSRP is $50 U.S., but we all know that there are higher prices in Singapore and other countries overseas, which is really unfortunate for those markets and has to be really frustrating if you're a nerfer in those areas, but they do tend to get things a little bit sooner than we do, so maybe that's a little, little bit of a trade-off. I, I'd honestly, I, I, it'd, be, it'd be nicer to pay less, but uh, at least they have that available. We'll see if more people in Singapore or other countries start to see these on shelves earlier than expected. These are supposed to be fall release date blasters, if I recall, but maybe we're getting into the beginning of leak season for this year, which... It usually is around the summertime. This feels slightly earlier than normal. Maybe I'm misremembering from last year, but this does feel slightly earlier. I'm sure someone will let me know down in the comments. But if we are getting into early release season or leak season in terms of blasters hitting the shelves before they're supposed to, it may be time in the next month or so to start looking at your targets and other retail locations because Target... Target seems to be the, the, the good standby for getting a blaster before its street date, as you can ask them to look in the back based on the DPCI. And sometimes they will bring out a box of blasters for you to purchase. So once we get those DPCI numbers, which maybe Random Shadow or someone else will get on that, they'll start that hunt that they often do every year to find those for all of us. Hopefully we will see some of those start popping up soon and we can start the yearly hunt, which is, it's fun. It can be a little bit stressful at times because you're running around checking Brick Seek, trying to find, okay, this, this store has them, it says, this store may have them. Let's go over here. Let's see if we can ask them to bring them out. Maybe they'll sell them. It's, uh, 
it's an interesting time of year always. So I appreciate that. And I do look forward to potentially finding some things before they're supposed to be out and maybe getting them out here to share with all of you. Thanks to uh, Patreon now making it a little bit more accessible for me to purchase these new blasters and review them for all of you. Um, but that's just kind of me going off on a tangent really quick about leak season and how it relates to the scavenger. So if you start seeing any of the new blasters in your area, please let me know. Uh, we all are looking forward to it, anticipating it and hopefully we'll start seeing more soon because I would love to see these in people's hands. Something else I want to talk about today. Uh, this is something that I noticed a while back, but kept pushing back talking about because there were other things to talk about. And I just want to talk about it really quick. Uh, this is from Jet Blasters. I noticed in one of their postings of a video, they just kind of slide it on in there that the Omega kit for the long shot should be shipping on June 30th. Now, we all know that Jet has a history of not being able to meet those deadlines. But we also have the CETA that's supposed to be shipping at the end of this month in May. So I feel like that may be a good indicator as to whether or not we will see the Omega kit ship on time or close to on time in June. Um, there's been a lot of posts from them lately about the CETA, which makes me hopeful that things are running smoothly as planned and they will be shipping on time. I know I talk a, a, a fair amount about wanting to see Jet do better and continue to do better and be good with community outreach. And they are making uh, a noticeable effort in that front. So I, I'm enjoying that and I like that. I'm just hoping that it continues with them hitting their release dates that they advertise. So fingers crossed on that one. I'm definitely um, looking forward to the Omega kit because I did purchase one for a Fabu Longshot build that we will be getting into in the future, but regardless, it's something I'm looking forward to and I'm hoping that they will continue to resurrect their name in terms of the good graces of the Nerf community and how they are viewed publicly. But that's enough of that. Let's talk about our mod of the week. This is actually, we're gonna make this our video of the week too because it is a video post, not a Facebook post or an Instagram post or a Reddit post or any of those things. It's a YouTube video. And this comes just from Clowny Nerf, and this is his Sledgefire build that, uh, as far as I'm aware, it does not have a proper name or anything, but it is beautiful. They... <sighs> Clowny just did a fantastic job on this build. It was actually recommended by multiple viewers, and I totally agree, well worth sharing. I actually thought I'd shared some of Clowny's work in the past because he is very talented and has done some very cool things. This one is no different. This is a Sledgefire that... It's an overhaul. It's a complete change to the way it works. The barrel is changed. The priming method is changed. The firing type is changed. It's just all around cool. And it has a nice aesthetic look to it as well. It looks, it, it looks beefy. It looks chunky. It looks uh, aggressive and, and super cool. And I just love what he chose to do with this blaster. I feel that it's very, uh, very fun and very interesting and very different in terms of what we come to expect the sledge fire. We've gotten very used to either singling the sledge fire or just using the sledge fire shells and he goes a different route. I'm not going to tell you exactly all the changes he made because I want you to go watch that video. And of course, if you have mods or videos that you think should be on this channel, on this show, always leave them down below in the comments. It is fantastic to find things that I maybe missed or didn't see. And I love hearing from all of you on the things that you enjoy. I also want to hear about your thoughts about everything we talked about today, specifically uh, the, the new releases, the Scavenger and the Delta Trooper potentially being available. I'm very curious to see what you all think about those blasters, especially once we start seeing them in hand, or if you're looking forward to finding other blasters from this year's line as they release. Now, as always, if you want to get your name down below and help this show continue to grow and grow, Patreon is available for those of you that want to do that. And also, I want you to go check out Clowny's video, which is gonna be right over here because we are at the end of the video, and let him know I sent you. Show him some love. He is a fantastic modder and a great guy, so please let him know and show him some love over there. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.